Now, initially Ford made 1,148,926 Broncos. Now that's a fat number of Broncos, but the world loved them. Bronco became a way for its owners to show off their personality and style and it inspired confidence for those that wanted to do things outdoors, off-road, and the occasional police chase. Now the new generation of Bronco is here and they're just as popular with tons of room for modifying them for form or function. Now today we're gonna to be going over our 2022 LJSV Bronco Wild Track. The 2022 Bronco Wild Track comes factory with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost motor, which is good for about 330 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. The Wild Track also comes standard with a Sasquatch package, which includes bigger fender flares, 35 inch tires, electronic locking front and rear axles, and a 4 7 final drive ratio. Now, in the suspension department, this Wild Track did come with the Haas 3.0 suspension which includes the Fox 2.5 inch internal bypass dampeners, the Ford Severe Duty steering rack, and the Ford Severe Duty tie rod ends. Now there's no doubt that the Bronco Wildtrak is extremely capable right out of the box, but when we decided to build the LJ SV Bronco Wildtrak, we want to make a few changes. Now let's start with the color. The color is the hot pepper red metallic, which is kind of like an orange red, it looks really good. And one of the first changes we made is the hood. Now the hood is from ADB fiberglass, and that hood scoop is actually functional it allows air to go in and keep that engine nice and cool. Now the other visual modification which kind of sticks out are the fenders. Uh, these aren't just a fender flare that are molded in. It's actually the entire fender and it actually has a one inch rise and it's two inches wider. And down low, we have the aluminum rock guards and this protects the body of the Bronco in case you hit any boulders on the trail, it'll protect that. And in the rear, this flare is also not just molded. The entire rear quarter had to be removed to put this fender flare and then you add the extension pieces here to tie the entire look in. Now the flares do look good, but it's not just a visual modification. It's actually there, so these big 37 inch general grabber tires, when the suspension is flexing and you're going over big rocks, you don't want these tires to hit your fender so it protects kind of the body of the Bronco. Speaking of the general grabber X3 tires, they're wrapped around Alpha brand wheels and the model of the wheel is grenade, grenade. and they're powder coated black with the green stripe to match the rest of the color scheme of the Bronco. The wheels are 17 by eight and a half inches. Now, if you're out on the trail, the last thing you want is to not have a spare tire. That's a double negative. So we do include a full size tire on the back of the Bronco and we use a rough country relocation bracket so you're confident that your wheel is secure on the back of the Bronco. All right, so sometimes when you're trail riding, rock crawling, or heck, even camping, uh, you might end up out on the trail and it might turn into night, which is why we added this light bar on top of the Bronco, which is a KC Highlight brand. You got eight of the KC Highlights up top and down here on the side view mirrors, you've got these pod lights when they're 600 lumens and they're actually made to cut through the dust on the trail. So if you're following somebody in front of you, it's meant to cut through that dust so you can actually see the person in front of you and not crash. Now, when it comes to performance, everything on the 2.7 liter is stock. The only thing done is an axle back exhaust. Now that's everything on the outside of the Bronco. Let's get to the business end of things, the cockpit. On the interior of the LJSV Bronco, we actually, you retain all of the factory options with a few minor changes. For example, the seats are reupholstered with a catskins leather and the inserts are actually a black suede. Now we use that same material on the steering wheel where the top portion and bottom portion are the leather and the outsides are the suede. We put a 12 o'clock green ring and we painted the bottom of the steering wheel green as well to really tie the outside with the inside. The dash is also paint matched to the hot pepper red metallic with the indented Bronco emblem painted green as well. The last thing we did was suede wrap the A pillars, B pillars, and even the sun visors, and it just gives it an overall nicer look and it's really nice to the touch. All right guys, now this LJSV Bronco Wild Track is a perfect example of what we can build for you from interior to exterior and some performance. Now, I would love to take this Bronco Wild Track off-road like we did that lining, but I know this Bronco is patiently waiting for its new owner to take it home and enjoy it. Now guys, do me a favor. If you like these videos, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment below and let us know what you wanna see next. Or check out this video on the LJSV Lightning, which is a supercharged F-150 and hit that subscribe button. So next time guys, peace out. Bracket, so it's nice and secure. It's not going in. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, that's two for two. I just punched two bees out of the sky. I'm two, I'm two and oh, baby. <laughs>